My channel will age like a fine wine because I've always been up here trying to pump that truth to you. We got some disturbing clips and you know what? It's happening the way I knew it would. And we need to address those clips. But before we do, I got to come out and say something. Black fathers, you need to be in your households. You really do, because it will be a repetitive cycle of black people going to prison and jail. 13 percent of the population of the United States is black, but it makes up over 35 percent of the jail and prison uh, 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 population. So when I get up here and I get comments like this, right, I can tell by your thumbnail that you're a hater. Well, you know what? I can tell by your old ass grumpy angry face that you failed at life. I can tell you didn't have a dad in your life. I can tell you didn't have a strong role model in your life because you're commenting on a video that I made telling people about taxes and quick penny plays. I can tell that you still believe the bullshit with salt and pepper in your beard. I can tell by your angry ass photo that you're still angry because you're failing in life. Take a look at your angry ass mean mugging face and take a look at my smiling face of me in a country that if I gave your black ass a thousand dollars, you could not point to on a globe. You couldn't even point to the region of where this country is. So <laughs> my man, you still haven't figured it out, but let's get into the clips from an Apple store in the East Bay. Want to show you now some video from the Bay Street location in Emeryville. You can see here the man in all black he grabs the phones from the display tables, puts them into his pockets, and then he walks out of the store. He also walks past an Emeryville police car before getting into a, a Hyundai Elantra. Now, we have since learned, though, that there was not an officer in that Wisconsin patrol. Wisconsin say an organized crime group of teens from Chicago are to blame for stealing nearly a dozen luxury cars. Yeah, it happened over the weekend. There was an extensive police chase. Christina Van Zelst explains where the investigation stands tonight. <laughs> Around 6 Sunday morning, Waukesha police say nine luxury vehicles were stolen from the Fields Auto Group. That heist started a chase into West Allis. Five luxury vehicles, high-end vehicles. We didn't think it would come up this far north and this far west uh, in the state. Waukesha Police Captain Dan Bauman says someone spotted something off at a gas station. You had nine luxury vehicles at a, one gas station in West Dallas uh, with uh, young kids with masks on, all filling up luxury vehicles at 6.30 in the morning. West Dallas Police chased the suspects onto I-94, which continued through Milwaukee, Kenosha, and Rosario. County. That's where the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department stepped in. Sergeant Colin Cooltrip says one vehicle was stopped with stop sticks and crashed on I-94 near Pleasant Prairie. Here, you can see the moments it was riding on the rim. As the first deputies, police officers were pursuing them down the interstate. They would end up getting passed by the cars that are in the rear of the convoy. And those would be the vehicles that would be going 130 plus and weaving in and out of traffic. That driver, a 17-year-old boy, was arrested. As for the rest of the suspects, Cool Trip says it gets tricky at the state line. In Illinois, the pursuit policy is more restrictive. Once we hit that Illinois line, it's essentially a wall. As of Monday, Waukesha police say six of the nine vehicles have been recovered. Five of those in Illinois. Christina Van Zelst, Fox News. That, <laughs> we're not done. We're not done. We're going to show you what happened after. We're going to show you the repercussions. First, you got the kids stealing the iPhones or the guy stealing the iPhones. And then you got these people stealing high end cars. And if you notice, they said, we didn't think we didn't think pretty much. We didn't think that shit would come to the white neighborhoods. They thought that shit would stay in the black neighborhoods. Oh, shit changes when you go to white neighborhoods and start and, and, and you start doing all that stupid shit. It starts changing. You want to see how it changes? believe this team 17 year old calvin valentine is just one of nine who broke into a waukesha dealership early sunday morning and stole six land rovers a bmw a jaguar and a porsche totaling five hundred eighty three thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars a criminal complaint released tuesday afternoon says the thieves all wearing gloves and masks pushed open a garage door at the dealership and pried the key lock box open before driving nine cars off the lot the defendant has absolutely no ties to this area and is part of a chicago group that came to waukesha for the sole purpose of committing crimes 
Police say a pit stop at a speedway in West Dallas tipped officers off to the pack of stolen cars. Suspicious activity speedway 108 VO trucker, newer BMW and a Range Rover with no plates. West Dallas police caught up with the group spotted in this state transportation video near Greenfield Avenue, chasing them nearly 40 miles before investigators say this white SUV with Valentine behind the wheel crashed near Pleasant Prairie. Once in custody, he told investigators he was just, quote, doing kids stuff. Lock his ass up. Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Not up in here. Not up in here. The defendant was caught because he fled from law enforcement in the city of West Dallas and eventually crashed the vehicle, proving that he will go to great lengths to avoid being taken into custody and brought to court. Tuesday in court, the state and defense presented its case for bond. It seems that there's a lot of other people involved in this and that Mr. Valentine's role is alleged to have been taking one vehicle. Um, and I don't think the court should consider any investigation outside of what's being alleged here. The commissioner set Valentine's cash bond at $50,000. Well, Hannah, prosecutors charged Valentine with four felonies. Right, those include burglary as well as operating a vehicle without the owner's consent. If convicted of all four of these felonies, Valentine does face more than 30 years in prison. Anna Hilliard. They will throw the book at your ass. Four felonies? Oh yeah, for facing 30 years? You 17 and you thought it was just kid, kid fun stuff. Kid shit. Oh no, oh no. See, growing up, kid shit uh, was you break a window... My father would take me down the street. You're going to mow this person's lawn for free for however however, however long they want you to. If they want you to mow it every day of the summer, that's what you're going to do. Every other day, you're going to do it because you broke that shit. You either hit the ball straight over that way and learn how to bat better. This is why I'm not in the pros because I was constantly mowing lawns. Or you're going to be mowing lawns and working for this person to pay that off. I'm not paying that shit off. I'm not giving my hard-earned money. You're going to work it off. And then you end up making friends with the neighbor. And then they end up hiring you to do the shit anyway. They end up hiring you to pull weeds and all type of stuff. And then before you know it, you had a little can of money. And you walking around with ices and candy. And you buying your own stuff. And then other kids start getting influenced. And, and, and they start going to go get little jobs. These little nigglets. Yeah, I said it. They're looking at social media. Uh, uh, I can make day trading plays. I can buy these penny stocks. I can get into NVIDIA. I can get this class. I can get this Lambo. You see, I want to floss. It's all about flossing and looking good on social media. And then what happens is they see kids doing shit like this and then they go do it. When did kid shit become breaking into a lockbox, taking high end cars? No, that's not kid shit. They were going to sell those cars, okay? I'm a longshoreman. We get stolen shit that comes through containers all the time, high-end cars. That wasn't kid shit. They were fencing those cars. <laughs> Maybe it was a joyride, but I don't think so. They're, they're trying to get easy money, okay? Quick money, quick plays. Somebody was going to get a little ass $500 or $1,000 and they were going to send them damn cars to another part of the country. That's what that shit is. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when I get up here on the mic, I'm giving you tough love. Tough love that my dad and male mentors gave me. They wouldn't say, oh, son, it's going to be OK. You know what they would say? I'm going to hang my foot in your ass. You keep doing that stupid shit. Or I'm going to let your little dumb ass go to juvie, spend some nights there. Oh, no, I'm not going to help you. I had a father that would say, I will roll over in my grave before I let my son make a fool out of my last name in these streets. See, that's what old school fathers in the household used to do. Even when my mom and dad broke up, my dad still had a presence. I do as a career, what my dad retired doing, a longshoreman. Shout out to my pops, Larry Sr. I don't have any felonies. I ain't got no street cred like that. But I also don't got to look over my shoulder and worry about the feds or anybody kicking in my door looking for me. I don't got to worry about the boys out there, the police, the all the drug dealers. I don't got to worry about none of that. I don't got to worry about none of that shit. None of those people looking for me because I did things the right way. Get your kids out of the hood. 
an old man with the salt and pepper beard, it's still not it's still not too late for you. But I, I feel sad for you because you still believe the bullshit and you look like you older than me. Don't grow up and be like this old this old person right here still believing quick plays and bullshit. There is no Nvidia stock that's going to get you out of the hood. There is no penny stock. There is no quick real estate class. There is no quick car flipping class. There is no dividend portfolio from Mommy Trader and anybody else out here selling bullshit. Yeah, selling bullshit. I'm going to say it again. Mommy Trader this is actually helping your channel because some people might look at this, but if you do look at her channel, Mommy Trader, what do you do for a living? You ain't got no job, man. For you to be able to purchase dividend stocks, you need a career. For you to be able to purchase real real estate, you need a career. For you to be able to purchase homes and shit, you need a career. Learn a trade. Learn a trade or get a degree in college in high demand and you will be better off than any of these idiots out here telling you in the comment section and on social media, you can make quick money with quick plays in a stock. They got their money in their portfolios by selling classes, by allegedly, I'm going to come out and say it, I don't know if it's true or not, but if I had to guess, they get stock rewards, meaning they pump bullshit to you, CEOs give them free stock as a payment for you and their subscribers coming to buy that stupid shit, that's how they built their portfolios. I will make a $50,000 bet with anybody I made a video about. If you can show me hundreds to millions of dollars before 2020, I'll give you $50,000. Anybody I made a video about, anybody I made a video about, if you can show me millions of dollars and you made so much money before 2020, this is a bet that I will hold down. Show me before 2020 you were worth all this money. You know what? You won't take that bet and your black asses can't because you started making money selling the dream to the youth of quick money. That's how you got money. That's how you set yourself up. And I'm angry as hell because more black and brown people will end up in the prison system. I'm here for everybody to help you, but I'm tired of these black influencers up here talking about stupid shit that don't mean anything, making videos about other other influencers who are who are who are 10 times better than them now they're going to beef with each other your your shit is not making a difference i'm trying to make a difference that is the point of my channel a lot of these channels up here are fluff and it's nonsense and won't amount to anything i'm up here trying to make a difference and i already have over 1700 subscribers that's not it's not a million but guess what the whole world ain't gonna be successful, okay? You're not. When people got 500,000 subscribers, a million subscribers, and they're selling bullshit, that's the ratio of people failing. 1,700 subscribers, that's the sad ratio of people that are actually doing great in this world. No regrets, get it.